Are you tired of being jerked around? I know I am. <laughs> hey, it's Tim, Pickup Truck Plus SUV Talk, and today I'm going to show you some new ropes. My friends over at Bubba. Not the shrimp. No. This is rope, guys. Focus. No force Gump references. I'm watching you. Anyways, so what we have is I have the Jeep Wrangler today, 2024 Jeep Wrangler. Cool thing. We have a uh, ATV or a, excuse me, a four-wheeler we're going to have stuck. We're going to show you two things. We're going to show you a static recovery and the non-static recovery. I can't remember the word for non-static recovery. The non-jerk version. Yeah, let's do that version. So I have a couple of products here that they sent me. And uh, it turns out Sue Mead, who's works for me on the channel, she loves this company. And I tend to agree. If you go to the website, it's hilarious. And a lot of good Southern humor on that website. But we have uh, Off-Road Recovery Gear Set 1, Off-Road Recovery Gear Set 2. What this is, is it's based on your weight. So trucks and heavy Jeeps. And ideal for Jeeps or vehicles weighing up to 5,000 pounds. So we have the four-wheeler. Doesn't weigh 5,000 pounds. That's fine. We're going to use that. So we have Gator Eyes. The cool Gator Eyes. And this is a nylon power stretch recovery rope. Next gen Gator Jaw synthetic shackles and a one mesh nipple bag. Inside the box, look, we have exactly what it's told us we had. <laughs> Imagine that. So this is your bubble rope here. And this, and this here is a 30 foot version. So we have 30 foot version and we have this version. So it's three quarters inch and that inch as well. We have some Gator straps. We'll talk more about those. And so let me open it up and then we'll show off these ropes. Okay, let's check out these ropes and sorry if I sound a little nasally, I'm at the tail end of a cold. So apologies, apologies, apologies for that. Uh, we have 3 8 Next Gen Pro Synthetic Shackle, 47,000 pounds of braking strength. Um, 47,000 pounds. Uh, we have the three quarter by 20 foot long power stretch recovery rope. Braking strength of 19,000 pounds, best fit for vehicles weighing 2,000 to 4,000 pounds. Double braided nylon. Uh, it meets a military spec. Um, so the military spec is interesting because what they do with these is actually, it's for helicopters. When they pick up a load, they don't want to pick up something static. They want to get, uh, they use this rope instead and it creates kind of a, a dead weight and allows them to lift it up higher and easier in the air. Fun fact of the day. Fun fact, yeah. Um, anyways, elongation 30 to 35%. Gator eyes, vinyl coatings, camo tan eyes, eyes spliced to military spec, and a mush du mesh duffel bag included. So you can see, hooking it up, we're going to rescue that Jeep in the photo. But yeah, so this is, what's cool with this is this is all made in the United States. Made in USA. Very cool thing. Um, but they also have rated these based on breaking strength. So you got to buy the right strength for what you plan on using it for. It's not like a one-size-fit-all that we find in other products. So I'm going to throw my drone up. We're going to pull this four-wheeler, then we'll pull it forward with the bubble rope. And we will see um, which one does better. This is test number one. We're going to pull him with a static rope like you'd use like a toe strap. So watch this. See the, see the jerkiness there? Yeah, so we're going to take this with the other one. Because even if you line that up and you go hard with it, yeah, yeah, it really jerks them. So that's that's kind of a problem. So let's let's fix that. Okay, let's see how fast my friend and I can get this uh, switched out here from the towing strap to the bubble rope. We want to test this out. It's five eighths inch uh, power stretch rope. We do have some nylon gator hooks. I'll show you in at the end of this test. I'll show you how it's hooked up to this 392. Um, a uh, word of. Uh, experience talking here people uh free this stuff before you get to the trail uh it turns out my friend and i neither one of us had a, a knife on us which is um uh, unfortunate so we had to work together to get this thing freed and so uh, we got it we got it freed but uh yeah if you have a knife <laughs> and free this before you get to the trail that's a that's the what you want to do um and so we're going to take this strap over he's going to hook it to the four-wheeler and i'm going to have this gator strap you can see in my hands i'm going to go around the front recovery point on the 392 or the tow hook um, and we're gonna hook this up and you'll see my we'll see and we'll pull my friend and we'll see if he doesn't jerk because that's the plan because jerking causes all sorts of problems to the mechanicals and to your head so don't snap your neck let's make this safe okay now for the bubble rope so now we just go back with the bubble rope and it'll elongate and nicely pull look at that yeah <laughs> I 
Okay, so this is our bubble rope. You can see it's extended. We have the gator eye here. This gator knot goes in, you connect it, and this goes up. This you can move back and forth. It makes this longer or bigger. Connect it together and strapped all the way to the four-wheeler. And you can see the nylon has that quality that allows it to expand and not jerk you around. No jerking. Jerking's bad. Yeah, so that's the difference between the bumper rope and the toe strap. And so if you're doing a lot of off-road recovery, the this nylon strap, which is just, I mean, it's, my goodness, look how thick this thing is, um, is really really kind of the way to go. I, uh, I'm pretty impressed with our products. Let's go check out the website and tell you how much these things are. Okay, here we are on bubblerope.com, off-road recovery. Uh, basically, we have Gator Jaw, different recovery sets. The UTV one I was using, if we go shop now to do UTV, recovery ropes, uh, gear, we're actually in gear sets. They do, so everything's sold separately or together combination. Gear sets really the way you want to go. Uh, 165 bucks for the off-road. This is the UTV, the, what you're seeing in the video. You get the bag, you get a couple of these gator straps, and you get the rope. Now you can step up to the off-road Jeep, or you can do the off-road truck, depending what you need, what you plan on pulling out. And you see the price point, is it goes up from there. So are they cheap? No. Are they good quality? Yeah. Are they less jerky than a regular toe strap? Yeah, absolutely. So um, I think, like I said, if you're doing a lot of this stuff or if you want to just have a good quality product in your truck for whatever happens, you know, whatever um, comes your way, it may need to pull somebody out. This is uh, this is good stuff. I, I give my my stamp of approval. All right, there you go. There are the details in the bubble rope, how it works, how we connect it together, uh, benefits of it, pricing. See, I covered everything, don't you? I think so. So, so put your comments down below. What do you guys think? Is it worth the money? Not worth the money? Check out other videos over here. Website down below as well, pickuptrucktalk.com. As always, thanks for watching. I will see you down the road.